Hey y'all, since today is uh, Easter, I thought maybe it would be great to do uh, some of the flowers that kind of always to me represented Easter, and that would be tulips. These are just really simple. Uh, another lesson on flow. So uh, get your round brush, your watercolor paper, and your watercolor paint, and whatever color you choose to do. Um, I think that I'm going to do probably some hot pink and some red. So uh, get everything together and let's watercolor. Here we go. First thing we're going to do is just kind of put some water in the shape of a tulip bloom. So just kind of a, an elongated kind of maybe a little pointed at the top. And then you're going to pick up some of your paint and again it's got to be watery so you're just going to kind of touch it down here down at the bottom and let it do its thing let me get some more paint here and let it do its thing and it will just eventually and if you want to turn it up some you can do that and kind of watch it just flow it'll just flow on down and that's what we want it to do Just kind of let it flow into that beautiful shape that you created with the water because the watercolor is only going to go where the paint is only going to go where there's water. Do you see how I'm just kind of manipulating it to get it to move where I want it to go and let it flow and be kind of free? That's the idea. We want it to kind of Go in there and have some beautiful color and some beautiful lights and darks. Just really, really pretty. Okay, there's one bloom. Now I'm going to wash my brush out. And I'm going to go over here and let's do us another tulip shape, bloom shape. It's kind of blunt on the bottom and then I'm going to pick up that paint again with lots of water in it and I'm just going to kind of run it along the bottom there and then let it do its thing just let it run see how we're getting that just beautiful beautiful shape of the tulip very simple, very simple. Just bring it up here a little bit. Okay, so there's our shapes. Move it up here so y'all can see a little bit better. Now we're gonna move on to some green stems. And this is just your regular plain green that, that everyday grass green, I guess is what you would call this. And again, we're gonna get some water in it. And this is about flow. And now we're going to come down from here, from the bottom of the flower, because I want to kind of give it a little bit of flow up into, so that it has, where it looks like it actually fits the bottom of the flower. Do y'all see how that's working? All right, and then we're going to come from here, and we're just going to press down and pull up and pull away as we're pulling up to get our leaves. Get that gorgeous, gorgeous foliage. Do you see? All right. Now, wash all of that green out of your brush. Get it back to a good point. And we're going to get a little bit of uh, water in our red paint. Now, this is going to have a little more... Uh, color in the paint than water this time because we're just going to kind of make a little bit of a demarcation here on some of the petals with a little of the red and I'm just taking it and kind of lined around where I thought petals would 
kind of go here. Maybe just a little bit of the top here on this one. Okay. And now that our foliage is fairly dry, we're going to wash that red out. Completely out. Go back to a pointed, pointed brush and pick up a little more of the green, more of the paint pigment color then you have water and you're just going to kind of make a line just really lightly press down and just pull your line up in that tulip and then to finish it off you can just rinse out a little bit of water and just kind of make you a little bit of a wash here at the bottom and ground our tulips a little bit and there you are Pretty, pretty Easter tulips. Hope y'all have a blessed day.